In this video, I'm gonna unbox and review KiwiCo's Explore With Me box. Alright, so I just got this box in. This is the Explore With Me one. Um, if you can see, as usual, the box always says month 0 to 12, and it doesn't give you an, like, an exact um, age range. So, so hopefully this is going to be good for Alistair. Alright, let's go ahead and open up the box. Okay, this is the Explore With Me box. This is a little magazine, um, just a little bit more information um, and telling you about the box in general and what the box promotes. And actually, I never talked about this before in other ones, but on the very last page of the magazine, there's a little bit of here. It's a basically a little sing-along sing song it teaches you. This one is Itsy Bitsy Spider. All right. These are the actual cards that teach you how to um, play with the items that's inside this box. All right, I'm gonna put them aside so I know exactly what I'm calling these items when I'm showing you guys. Okay. Um, just a quick glimpse of what's included inside the box. All right, so here we have a bead maze. This is fairly common enough. Um, it's a pretty common one. Looks really nice built. Um, it has Poppy here. In case you didn't know, the panda name is Poppy. Um, suction cups on the bottom. Um, next, we have a coin puzzle box and some coins. Um, coins go in here and dropping around. Looks like this should be fun for Alistair. He likes, uh, actually I've been looking forward to a coin box. I'm glad this is included here. Next, ah, tissue box. Um, just a little soft beanie bag like thing. And I think these are the, talk about this in a bit. And these are the tissues that you put in. They're a little bit more like, uh, okay, fold like this. And I think you just kind of put them in. Um, I'll figure it out later and I'll show you guys in a bit. All right, the next item in here is a Poppy's Day Out. So this is a booklet. It's a board book. Um, just a little bit more reading to your, for your child. All right, so this here is looks similar to the cards in the beginning, but basically um, this is teaching you how to play outside of this, what's included. Um, they'll kind of teach you little different things on what to do and other things you can do with your child that doesn't include, um, that's included inside this box. All right, that looks like that's everything that's inside this box. And as per usual, I'm gonna go ahead and let Alistair play with this as well as do some research and find some alternatives of stuff that's similar on Amazon to see if this box is worth the amount of money that we pay for the subscription. So after looking at Amazon for equivalent items um, for functionality wise, let's see if this Kiwi Co Crate is worth the 40 bucks. First up, it's gonna be a fairly simple board book. This one's about a panda and a day out. Um, of course, you're not gonna find this exact story on Amazon. However, I did find a similar board book um, that fits the same criteria for $5. Yeah. The next item in the box is gonna be a simple bead maze. Um, this bead maze has two maze and it has three little beads on each of the maze. And what's a little nice about it is that you get this little additional poppy here, or a little panda here that you can actually push and it bounces right back. And another great thing I really like to use with this right now so far is I've been using it on his activity center. Um, with these little suction cups on the bottom, I'm able to stick it to the activity center and keep him a little bit busy while I need a uh, free hand to do something. I found a similar size bead maze on Amazon for $11. The next item is gonna be this coin box. It's fairly simple. You get these four coins here and then you drop it into the box. Um, what's great about this one versus the one I found on Amazon that's for $19 is that this one actually has two slots. You get the normal square slot as well as a bigger circle slot. And what makes it great about having this big circle slot is that when your baby is younger, um, he or she isn't going to be able to put the coin into the regular rectangle slot. And it's just easier for them to put it into the circle slot. So overall, I found the size and quality of coin box to be very good. Um, I'm not sure about the one on Amazon, but it looks a little bit bigger and heavier than this one. The last two items inside the Kiwico crate are actually meant to be used together. It is a set of six of these little tissues here and a tissue box. And the goal is, of course, you put these tissues into this little box and your baby will to pull them out to see the cause and effect. Um, as you notice, most babies tend to like pulling tissues from an actual tissue box. 
and this way it saves you from wasting your tissues. So this is actually one of the rare times where the KiwiCo and the Love Every items kind of overlap as previously if I've only received the hand-to-hand -hand disc that was overlapping but now I actually received a tissue box previously from Love Every. Um, if you ask me which of the two I like, I actually like the Love Every one better and it's not only because of the wooden construction versus the cloth here, um, it's because of how the tissue is interlaced among each other. So for the KiwiCo, you actually interlace them by opening it up here and then you would put the next one in and then you would close this flap onto it and so on. Moving the next one on. And after that, you would fold it in half and then you would put this into the tissue box and then you would be able to pull it up. However, I found that it's kind of a hit or miss. Um, sometimes the tissues don't actually, uh, the other end of it doesn't come up after I'm pulling one off. Or sometimes it does that where you see uh, both tissues come out. They Love Every on the other hand has this nice little interlocking system where you see a little hole here. You put the end of one of the tissues into it and so forth. Um, you just do a whole line of them and afterwards you would just kind of scrunch them all up and on the bottom is actually a magnet where you can open and you would just stuff in one side of the tissue and then you would just close it up and here you will be able to just pull them out and almost every single time I've had no issues with the tissues um, not pulling the next one up. All right, let me tell you, tissue boxes are not cheap. I've only really found two options on Amazon. One is $41.93 and the other one was $42. It's only a seven cents difference, um, but they both accomplish pretty much the same goal of where you put um, tissue into a little box and let your baby just pull it out to see the cause and effect. So if you try to recreate this crate by buying everything separately on Amazon, it's gonna cost you a whopping $76.93. That's 1.9 times more than the actual $40 of the KiwiCo Panda Crate cost. That makes this KiwiCo Panda Crate the best value yet. And as usual, I really think these Panda Crates from KiwiCo are a really great value and I highly suggest them. And if you're still looking into it right now, I actually have a 30% off link in the description down below if you're interested. Let me know down below in the comment section if you think this KiwiCo Crate was worth it or you think maybe just the prices on Amazon are inflated. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.